multiply 128.855 and 4 together. Round to the nearest hundredth when necessary. So I have two factors, 128.855 and 4. And just like a long multiplication problem, I treat it the same as I'm multiplying. So I start with 5 times 4 is 20, then I'll get 22. I'll continue solving this problem across. And now I'm left with this number. Now what is very important to remember is we count the total number of digits after decimal points in our uh, original problem. In this case I have 1, 2, 3, 4. On the bottom there's no decimal points. So I have 3. I need 3 digits after the decimal point in my answer, meaning that I'll place the decimal point here in between the 5 and the 4, and my correct answer will be 515.42 because it's said to round to the nearest hundredth, giving us 515.42.